Hello everybody and welcome to a brand new video on the GBW YouTube channel. Today we're going to, be going to be doing a comparison, a pack battle. So in today's video we're going to be doing a comparison between Panini Football 2020 and the UEFA Champions League sticker collection by Top. So a Tops versus Panini video yet again. I know you like these videos. This time we're comparing their sticker collections. Obviously Panini have done the Premier League collection this year, uh, holding the Premier League licensing. These are both barcoded packs, by the way. And Tops have the Champions League sticker packs uh, Tops' Champions League packs have 10 stickers in retailing at £1 each these retail at 70p each for 5 stickers so we'll have to find out what kind of stickers are better but we'll find out in the video obviously uh, but before we get into it make sure to absolutely smash the like button subscribe for more as well and turn the notification bell while you're there obviously smash the like button in the next 5 seconds 5 seconds can you do it? I think you can because you're nodding but you're, you're hesitating, you're thinking, why should I hit that like button? And I'll tell you why, this brand new camera I'm using right now, you can probably tell the difference in quality. I mean, look at the depth on this camera. This is this is upper echelon stuff, this. Um, and it's all thanks to you guys, so thank you very much for the support. Um, and I've got a brand new camera to kick this channel off with some more quality content. Look at that, that is awesome. Uh, but yeah, ho well, hope you smashed the like button. Without further ado, what, what should we start with? Start with a um, a panini pack, I think. So we just tap a focus on there. So I'm still trying to get used to This is the first video I've filmed with this new camera, so still trying to get used to it a little bit more. It's a bit more high-tech than uh, the camera I had before. Um, but there we go. Let's, let's see what we can get in here. Hopefully something decent. So we start off with Matt Ritchie there. Which is awesome, what a player. We've got Christian Eriksen. Who else have we got in here? We've got Benjamin Mondi. We've got Shane Long. Focus, come on. <laughs> Sometimes it does that. There we go, there's Shane Long. And there is Davinson Sanchez for Spurs. So not a bad first pack for the Panini fo uh, Football 2020 packs. Um, obviously these stickers are quite good quality in comparison to the um, the Tops Champions League stickers as we'll s find out in a minute. Um, obviously these are a bit, you know, we'll find out in a minute what what they're like. Uh, let's let's open a um, Tops pack, why don't we? So, it seems in the Tops packs you always get two shinies as well, uh, which is awesome for your £1. So we start off with, um, start off this badge, Inter Internazionale Milano. FC, of course, as otherwise known as Inter. Um, there we go, Inter's badge. Obviously, these shiny stickers are very large compared to the normal ones. They're, you know, they're yeah, they're they're a much bigger variation of sticker, the badge ones, which you don't find in the Panini uh, collection. Uh, but then we have Zapata of Atalanta. We've got Sensi, Fedsa. Thomas Delaney, Pavard, uh, Junozovic, Malcolm, uh, Torresidis there, and Neymar Jr. There we go. So obviously if we compare the style of sticker um, to the other, as you can see here quite clearly the Panini sticker are, stickers are larger. Uh, they're much taller and I think they might be wider as well. Yeah, they're wider and taller and much better quality. So the Panini stickers are much better in terms of quality. In terms of the design though, I'm quite, it's very tough to decide the design. They have matched their branding of each collection very, very well. Panini's um, Premier League branding in the background there is really good and it fits um, especially the album really well. But then again, the, the Tops is Champions League stickers. This is the best sticker collection they've released in years. And I really like how they've designed their stickers. They're so simple, yet effective. So you comment down below, what do you think? What is the best design, the Panini stickers or the Top stickers? I'm still undecided. I'm. <laughs> this is it's one of the toughest battles we've had on the channel here. But there we go. There's the first packs out of the way. Let's uh, crack into the next one. But yeah, let me know what you think of this camera quality as well. And I'm still getting used to it, as I keep saying, but um, eventually I'll get there, I suppose. So we start this pack with Meza Ozil. Look at the folk, look at the quality on this. Oh, I can't get over it. We've got Ben Chilwell. And we've got our first shiny from the Panini uh, packs. Nick Pope of Burnley there. Awesome. 
elite sticker of course. Uh, good, nice gold design there. Then we've got Lucas Digne and Felipe Anderson. Um, at the time of this, Man uh, West Ham United don't have a manager, uh, so who knows who they're getting next. That's nice to get our first shiny of the Panini stickers, uh, Nick Pope being that man, the elite sticker. Now, I don't think the Topps collection has gold uh, shinies, so um, that's another thing Panini win on, in my eyes. Gold shinies look so much nicer, uh, but I suppose traditional sticker collections didn't really have the gold shinies, I'm not too sure. Uh, so we get another two inserts in this pack. This time it's the Chelsea badge at the back there. And then who else we got here? We've got Dusan Tadic for Ajax. Uh, that's the captain sticker, actually. Now we've got Belhanda, Lukman, uh, Saul, Musa Sissoko, Patrick, Dest, Lozano, and Wojciech Szczesny, uh, former Arsenal keeper, of course. Now playing for Juve in Syria. There we go. So, two packs down, out of the way. What do you think so far is the winner? Make sure you do utilise that comment section to find out or to make your decision. So, in this pack we do have, if the camera will focus, Anwar El Ghazi for Aston Villa. We've got Captain Hendo. And then we've got uh, Yannick Vestergaard of Southampton, Phil Jagielka and Robbie Brady for Burnley. Ten years he spent in the Premier League, that's pretty epic from Rob. There he is. And let's get into this next Champions League pack. That third one in the opening. And we start off with a nice uh, state, well not a nice stadium really is it? Stamford Bridge. Um, yeah, I don't really like it but I'm sure a lot of you guys will. There's the Atletico Madrid badge, with a cheeky little bear with a tree in their badge. Nice little, you know, it's different, I suppose. Uh, there's the Stamford Bridge sticker there, put that down there as well. And then we have the uh, Portuguese wonder kid, uh, Renato Sanchez, Condogbia, Gareth Bale, Rakitic, uh, this guy, <laughs> uh, Jimitsi, uh, Pantsil, and Openda. For uh, Club Rouge there um, in the Champions League, of course. I think they've been knocked out already, bless them. But and then again, they're not a bad team to qualify. Or if they qualify for the Champions League, they can't be a bad team. So anyway, let's get into this next one, the another Panini Football 2020 pack. Here we go. Also, we've got one of these stadium stickers, uh, which is actually good because obviously we've got a stadium sticker in the other Champions League pack, so you can probably compare these now as well. There's the Etihad Stadium for Manchester City. And then we've got uh, Isaac Hayden. We've got a shiny team photo of Arsenal, the Gunners, of course, with Unai Emery sitting there. Don't know if the camera will focus. Oh, it will. It's pretty good. Blimey, that is incredible. <laughs> There he is, Unai Emery at the helm at the time of taking that picture, of course. And then we have Matt Target and Christian Benteke for Crystal Palace. Is he injured? I'm not too sure. But anyway, let's compare these stadium stickers. So here we go. These are the two stadiums. Notice how they're both landscaped, but yet again, the Paninis are much bigger. It's about, about half a centimetre each side. Um, in terms of the sizing per sticker uh, difference, uh, but notice how the Panini st no top stickers are shiny compared to Panini's flat design. But I, pr I, I think I prefer the flat design for stadiums because it you can't you can you can barely read the Stamford Bridge down there in the top sticker. But then again, uh, both fantastic designs. But on the whole, I would I'd say I prefer the um, Panini picture and. Um, sticker of the stadium but again feel free to comment down below if you disagree let's get into this next one then shall we we have got uh let's have a look at this badge first because it gets out of the way uh genk genk's badge there the thing with the badge is that they do get damaged quite easily because they're so much bigger and when you open the pack you quite often more well sometimes you can rip them so just be careful when opening the tops packs We've got another stadium stick here, the Allianz Stadium, home to Juve, of course. 
Now we've got Jean Dare, Van Van Buren, who's this? Uh, Hajorovic, Alvarez, um, Bobakai, Mendez, Bailey, and Jorginho there for Chelsea. Awesome stuff. And let's get into this final Panini Football 2020 uh, pack. Obviously, if you are enjoying this video, make sure to smash the like button. You know what to do. And we get another cheeky little shine in this pack. So we start off with the Southampton little photo there. Uh, that's something the Topps collection doesn't have, these little circular um, stickers or curved edged ones. And we've got Ryan Bennett. We've got the injured John McGinn. Uh, Federico Fernandez and Leighton Baines for Everton. Fantastic stuff. So that was the final pack for the Panini stickers. And let's have a look at the final tops pack. And then at the end of the video, make sure to vote down in the comment section which is your favourite collection. There is the Valencia badge. Uh, very nice, quite a historic badge that. Very nice and simple with the bat up the top of course. Then we've got Sergio Aguero from Manchester City. We've got Feguli, uh, Gaia, Diego Costa, Christian Eriksen, uh, Botko, Santos, Merritt, and N'Golo Kante uh, to finish off the pack. So that is awesome. I think that's one of the. That was, yeah, that was a fun video to record, I have to say, especially with this new piece of kit I've got, which I can zoom in just like that. It's pretty epic. Uh, but yeah, hope you did enjoy it. If you did, make sure to absolutely smash the like button, subscribe to the channel as well, and turn the notification bell to go the extra step further and to get notified to your mobile tablet and complete advice when I upload a new video. Isn't that crazy? Because I think it is. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.